The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. Guys, I want to do one more topic before we wrap it up for the day. I want to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Scotty uh, is very excited for it because he saw the thumbnail. I'm going to talk about Bo- this is from the Hollywood Reporter box office. Robert Pattinson's The Batman bites off big $21.6 million in previews. As he goes on to say, the superhero pick is sure to snag the biggest opening of the pandemic era behind Spider Man No Way Home. The Batman took flight at the domestic box office with $21.6 million in previews for Warner Brothers. That includes Thursday night shows, that includes Thursdays, and limited Tuesday and Wednesday IMAX seats. Uh, the $200 million event pick starring Robert Pattinson as the Cape Crusaders widely expected to zoom past $100 million by Sunday and score the second biggest since the pandemic. Uh, so, um, so yeah, what do you guys think of this, Andrew? I'll start with you. This is big news for the Batman. This is hitting big. Uh, darkness uh, be damned, I guess. People had enough <laughs>, laughs with Spider-Man. Now they're going in to cry. Is that <laughs> <laughs> that's a beautiful number for opening day they should be proud that did really well i don't think anybody expected this movie to not do well batman movies just they make money man that's how it goes so i think we're looking at possibly let's just quickly scanning what's what's coming up this year possibly like in the top three highest grossing films of 2022 I don't see that being outside the realm of possibility. So good on them. And I mean, we already know Rob's going to see it six more times. So there's money in the bank right there. <laughs> no, totally. And I mean, you, you kind of th- threw it to me there. It's like, yeah, this this is perfectly serviceable. Like, you know, on the, on the side of things, you know, people might have been hoping for more and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, you're still looking at like, you know, in the middle of a pandemic. And, you know, I know that we're starting ahead of it, but I don't think we're done yet, unfortunately. But that's me talking about that. Never mind anything else. But uh uh, you know, second second highest, which includes like you know stuff like Black Widow and uh, Shang Chi and Venom and all that type of stuff. So this is a a decent accomplishment. I mean, twenty two million, and then we'll see what it gets on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And you know, um, yeah, like it'll it'll be well into the hundreds. I'm still I was still hovering around one thirty that I was guessing, uh, and I'll probably stick around that amount. And we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, it gets there. Hopefully, it gets higher. I mean, I'd love to see this movie make all the money. Yeah, I mean, Scotty, before I get to you, I want to bring in uh, two movies that uh, it did better than for previews that came out before the pandemic. So there are two DC movies that it beat in previews before the pandemic. And then the reason why I want you to touch base on this is one of them is Suicide Squad, which earned $20.5 million, So just a million and a bit off. And the other one is The Joker. The Joker only made $13.3 million in previews. And, of course, the Joker went on to make over a billion dollars at the box office. So, Scotty, I just before we got to you, I wanted to give you those numbers as well. Yeah, I think uh, I said stupid high numbers when we were making our predictions, like yeah, 700. <laughs> like 700. And uh, I really think that if, I mean, with even the added stuff now that's going on, I feel really bad for, you know, moviegoers and people who enjoy their entertainment. Uh, I can only speak from where I'm at, the great state of New York. We just started lifting things. So if that's a sign of future things, then, yeah, I think people are looking for something to do that's outside of the house. Go watch this movie. (laughs) Go watch this movie. It's good. No, yeah, and I think you if you're predicting 700 million like worldwide, I think that movie's that that number's like almost a guarantee in my opinion, actually, I could see it passing a billion because Mm -hmm. um, like in total, because I mentioned this, I think a week ago was that um, the key thing about, uh, about, about this movie worldwide numbers, it's going to be released in China. Something that MCU movie Mm -hmm. hasn't, hasn't had uh, since um, uh, what would it be? Spider-Man two, the second one, I forgot what it was called again, Uh, far from home. Uh, that, that's gonna be the first M- M- MCU uh, since that movie. Uh, no, no other MCU movie last year got released in uh, in China. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't I would not be surprised if that number for China for the Batman is higher than I think people would have predicted. Just because you know uh, a superhero movie is coming back to to theaters in China and people might flock to it. 
And you know, not for nothing, they're actually promoting the Marvel Batman over there right now. Like Moon Knight is not for nothing. He is an amalgamation of this character. So yeah, overseas, like they could be wanting Batman even more than we are right now. Yeah. Very good point. Yeah. Well, overseas, there is some overseas budget that have come in. It's doing pretty well. It's making a million, a couple million bucks, but it's not in Russia right now. Uh, that's where it's not playing. Uh, where is it? I can't see. Overseas, the Batman opened to a promising 5.3 million on Tuesday and Wednesday from its, uh, from a handful of markets. Uh, 47 markets on Thursday is when it is officially launching overseas, um, except for Russia, which Warner Brothers is not releasing movies there. Uh, France, it earned 1.4 million and 2.1 in total from the previous screening. So that's not bad. It's doing well. People, like you said, Scotty, people want to go back. They want to go back to the theater. Uh, and sure. this movie, um, well, I, you know, and this is Batman. Everyone loves Batman. You know, I grew up with Adam West. You grew up with Michael Keaton. You grew up with Val Kilmer. You grew up with George Clooney. God bless you. You grew up with Christian Bale, <laughs> with Kevin Conroy. Like everybody grew up with a Batman. And and again, like I said yesterday, the problem with Batman is as much like Star Wars, everybody had a different entry point into Batman, and everybody has a different idea of what Batman is and what a Batman movie should be. I think ultimately, though, while this one might not bring you a total. It does end on a positive note, though. Well, this one might not be so joyful. This is a damn good movie. It is a strong movie. This is, you know, I I, I probably put it maybe a just a not, not nudge below Zodiac in terms of how good it is. And, and you know, it want it, it, it parts of it wants to be Zodiac, and then it kind of gets it doesn't want to be it totally. But and they also solve his riddles a lot easier than the Zodiacs. But you know, it, it's it's right up there. It's just a solid film. It's you know, it, maybe it's not the Batman movie. We technically nobody grew up with Batflex as uh, says Disney does he? I well, not yet. They'd only be what like eight right now, seven. <laughs> well, I guess some people did. But this is not. This movie is definitely not for them. Um, but again, the Joker made a billion dollars, and this movie feels like a a spiritual spiritual relative to the Joker in a lot of ways, like in tone and in style. And that one's called the Joker, and this one's called the Batman. And that one, the whole t- the Joker fills the screen in the opening titles, and this one, the Batman fills the screen with the opening titles. There's no no no, you know, no the on Joker, the same, just Joker, same wavelength. <laughs> Let's be honest. We don't we don't grow up with any of these characters. The characters take us back, man. We go back to our yeah. childhoods with these characters. But this one, I think, for you know, for our, for us older who grew up with Batman taking us back, you're giving us an adult story with a guy dressed up as a bat and a guy giving riddles to solve a crime and a cat burglar who's literally a cat woman and a penguin who is uh, what a performance that. Just I just Colin Farrell, I just thought was so good in this. Like you forget he's Colin Farrell for a bit. Every once in a while his voice, so I was like, Oh, that's Colin Farrell's voice. All right, we got this. But I thought he was excellent. He was in it way more than I thought. Um, this good news for the movie. We'll find out on Monday how it actually did, because it might just tank from there. Everybody that wanted to go see it might have gone to see it, and that's it. It's all gonna hell. Uh, estimates I think are still saying is around 130, 140 for the weekend, but it's at 21 right now. It's in you know, that's a good starting point. You only have to do 120 mm-hmm. now to make it there. And Friday, this is a big day. Karen just said in the comments that she's going again. Rob, you're going right after we finish recording. You're waiting to leave right now. <laughs> Andrew, you out, you downloaded it illegally. And Scotty, you Yarr. said you're going to see it again. I'm definitely going to go see it again. It's I can't so wait to fun. watch it in the fall. Uh, I hope the, the Blu-ray's out by like summer so I can watch it around Halloween. Mm-hmm. It, it's hitting HBO Max on April 19th, I believe, is the date for HBO Max. You know where I want to watch this movie? Uh, drive through. We oh, have yeah? drive throughs down yeah. here. I would love to see this in a drive through with just the massive speakers outside, the mm. Batmobile while all the other cars are running next to you, like oh, revving man. their engines. Oh, yeah, there'll be trucks out there revving with him, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this would be a this would be a lot of fun to watch in the in the drive driving for sure. I haven't been to a drive in forever, but they're they need to come back. I thought actually, I thought when Halloween kills came out it was delayed a year from last halloween i thought last halloween it should have played for <laughs> halloween weekend only at drive-ins that they yeah. should just on uh, halloween weekend only drive-ins is like a special preview a year in advance because i think it would have slaughtered i would have gone that would have been so much fun you get to see halloween on halloween weekend in the drive-in they missed the perfect boat 
Oh, sorry. Hi, uh, Dizzy, Dizzy saying hi. You can't uh, admit to downloading illegally on the internet. Andrew, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Disney. I didn't actually do that because I don't know how. Because <laughs> my do internet's it. not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who accuses me, just watch any of these live shows. You know yeah. <laughs> the internet's downloading you, not the other way around. <laughs> Seriously, that's how it is. Good news for the Batman, $21 million. Huge hit coming up on this one.